So you're considering making a move to Sandpoint, Idaho. Well, you're in for a treat because my family and I, we packed up six years ago. And let me tell you, it's been an absolute game changer. Zero regrets. But you know what they say, every rose has its thorn. And in this video, I'm gonna lay it all out there for you. The highs, the lows, the good, the bad the full scoop of living in Sandpoint, Idaho. Before we jump into the video, if you're considering a move to Sandpoint and you wanna discuss this one-on-one -on -one with me, what it's like to live here and what my experience has been, my calendar link is in the description below. Go ahead and pick a day and time that's gonna work best for you. Now let's go ahead and start with the pros because I believe the pros outweigh the cons. First, let's start off with the obvious, natural beauty. Sandpoint, it feels like it's straight out of a Hallmark movie and Lake Ponderay, it's just the star of the town, still in the spotlight with its sheer size and beauty. And life here, well, it pretty much revolves around the lake. There could be a good argument about Schweitzer Mountain Resort, and that would be a fun debate, but we're gonna leave that for another day. Now, surrounding Lake Ponderé are the breathtaking Selkirk and Cabinet Mountains. It's like nature decided to wrap Sandpoint up in a big, cozy blanket of awe-aspiring landscapes. Now, many of you know, I'm a desert rat. I'm originally from Phoenix, Arizona. I grew up with beautiful sunsets and sunrises, but guess what? Sandpoint has not let me down. When the morning sun rises over the mountains, bounces off the lake and lights up the valley, that is really hard to beat. Number two on our list is recreational activities. And let's dive right into what makes this place an absolute paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. First, let's talk about hiking. And you're gonna find there's a ton of walking trails on the outskirts of Sandpoint. Some of these are gonna to range to be very easy, to medium, to more difficult. And let's start with an easier trail, the Ponderé Bay Trail. This runs right along the lake by City Beach, and it's a very popular one. Next is the Pine Street Woods, located on the west side of town, and it has a whole mixture of easy, medium, to more difficult trails. And the most difficult trail system that's on the outskirts of Sandpoint is the Mechanicnik Trail, this is on the base of Schweitzer, and with all these different options, you're gonna find your favorite walking spot in no time. Now, this is not gonna come as a shock at all. There is skiing and snowboarding up on Schweitzer Mountain. There's 92 ski trails, 10 lifts, and great powder. The mountain is really the place to be during the winter months, and we are very blessed to have this right in our backyard. Now, if you like to fish, then you're really going to enjoy Lake Ponderé. I'm not much of a fisherman, so I'm not the best to talk about this subject, but I have contacts who can certainly shed some light on this topic. Now, if you leave me a comment below, and if you wanna know more about fishing on Lake Ponderé, we'll do a whole nother video and I'll bring a couple guest speakers on to talk about this. Just leave me a comment and let me know. But what kind of fish can you find in Lake Ponderé? Well, you have Northern Pike, Largemouth Bass, Cutthroat Trout, Bull Trout, Walleye, Kokanee, and so many more. Now let's stay on the lake. Now, of course, you can bring your boat out there and enjoy a peaceful time on the lake. And I wanna emphasize the peaceful part because the lake is massive. And then you have the Ponderay River. And with all this water surface, it's not gonna be bumper boats out there. I promise you that. On to number three, and we're talking about small town charm. If you're looking for a community and not just another destination or location, then Sandpoint could be for you. You can put out minimal effort and start to build a great network of friends. It's gonna be difficult to drive around town or even go to the grocery store without running into somebody that you know. You're gonna notice how quickly the community is to respond to those who are in need of help. One story that stays with me and I like to share, there was a fire up in the mountains just past Selly Valley and there was a lot of farmers in that area. They had to open up their gates and they had to let their horses, their cows, the goats, the livestock, out so that way that they could survive. The community quickly organized and other farmers from other parts of the community were showing up with their trailers to trailer these animals, take them to their farms, while these other family members were dealing with the fires. We're on to number four and we're gonna be talking about low crime rate. Overall, you're gonna find a very, very low crime rate here in Sandpoint and even the surrounding areas. In 2021, the odds of being a victim of a violent crime were one in 1,125, and being a victim of a property crime, one in 74. Overall, Sandpoint has a very low violent crime rate compared to the national average, 
and you're gonna find Sandpoint to be a very safe and enjoyable place to live. Let's talk about the Four Seasons. If you've never lived in Four Seasons or you're wanting to come back to a place where there are Four Seasons, then Sandpoint could be the place for you. Let's talk about spring. And I have mixed feelings about spring because it starts out as a mud soup. The weather cannot make up its mind. It's raining, then it's snowing, then it's freezing, then it's thawing, all in the same day. But once everything starts to green up and bloom, it's hard to deny the beauty up here in North Idaho. Let's talk about summer. And this is why everyone wants to live here. And it really takes the spotlight. We're gonna go to the obvious first and talk about Lake Pend Oreille and boating. You can, in addition to boating, there's swimming. You can go fishing. The, the opportunities on the lake are really endless. Then you have hiking and ATV trails, you have camping and so, so much more. In the fall, and this is likely my most favorite season because of the changing the colors, the weather is perfect. It's only partly sunny. And with the exception of swimming, you really have all those fun recreational activities still available to you. Winter rounds out the true four seasons in North Idaho. And yes, we do get snow and yes, it does get cold, but it's not as bad as you think. If you have the right clothes and equipment, you're going to be fine. Believe me, you will be. And if you're worried about driving in the snow and you've never done it before, Bonner County puts on a class every single year to help get you ready for those conditions. We're on to number six and we're gonna talk about the strong education system. I'm gonna tell you that I have three kids who are currently attending the public school systems and our experience has been great. I ask my kids every day when they're picked up from school, how was school? What did you learn? And I'll say they are not learning any of that political crap they're trying to shove down the kids' throats in the big cities. That being said, the math they are teaching up here, it's silly, it's long, it's confusing, it's not what we learned, it's not the easy way, but tell you what, I can deal with that over the political nonsense they're shoving down the kids' throats in the big schools. Now, if you want to homeschool your kids, this is a great state to do so, and even in a better area. Many kids up here are homeschooled, and there's co-ops where the kids can get together once a week, and this goes from elementary, middle school, and high school, and the kids are allowed to participate in after-school programs which is really, really important if you're going to be going down that route. Another really cool thing about homeschooling up here, it doesn't matter if you're in elementary school, middle school, high school, there's PE and there's programs out there that's going to give you money for every quarter where you can go to karate or dance lessons or some physical activity and that typically pays for the entire year. So instead of going out and paying for karate lessons or dance lessons, you can get these funds to pay for those extra after school activities. Okay, we're on to number seven of the pros and we are talking about taxes and Uncle Sam. The good news here, there are several programs to help ease the burden on your property taxes. There's the primary home exemption, the circuit breaker exemption, the forest exemption, and there's a few others. The most common one used is the primary home exemption. And I'll give you an example. Let's say your house is worth $500,000. You're gonna take 125,000 off the assessed value and your home is now, that the tax liability is $375,000. But remember, this has to be your primary home. Another cool thing, you can stack other exemptions on top of one another. So let's take the forest exemption. You have to have at least six acres. You have to have Part of it wooded, you bring out a forester, they're gonna give you a plan to how to manage your small forest. Once you get that done, and that's your primary home, you can stack both of those exemptions on top of one another. Now let's take it a step further. Maybe you have a little bit of a hay field, or chickens, or cows, and you're gonna sell some ag produce off of it. You can triple stack those exemptions to really bring down your tax liability. Moving forward, we do have sales tax in Idaho, and it comes in right around 6%, which is lower than the national average. We do have income tax as well. I've heard whispers that Idaho may move away from that, but I don't know how accurate that is, so do your own research. One can only hope so, that way we can keep more money in our pockets and out of the government's hands. Rounding out our pros at number eight is low population density. Simply put, it's low. If you're looking for a slower pace of life and not having to move around or over or across people, 
then Sandpoint may be for you. I will say this, in the summer the town does get a little bit more crowded since we are a tourist uh, town and that's tourist season, but still, it's not nearly as bad as other cities. And Coeur d'Alene is worse than Sandpoint, but if I have to be honest with myself, it's not like going down to Spokane or Seattle or Phoenix. It's really not that bad. My wife actually has to remind me that I grew up in Phoenix and I need to think back to 30 years of driving in that terrible traffic. And I know you people from LA are gonna say Phoenix is nothing. But let's get back to the population density. Just like most places, Sandpoint, it's going to continue to grow. But what we have going for us, it should grow at a slower pace than other areas. From our rivers, the lakes, the railroad tracks, wetlands, mountains, the national forest, state land, and the terrain just in general, track homes of 500 plus neighborhoods are just not going to pop up. Let's talk about our first con, and we're talking about bugs. We have bugs, all sorts of them. You can even tell which season it is by what bug is currently out and about. Now the good thing is, in winter, there aren't that many, so we do get a little bit of relief from the insects. In spring, it's gonna be yellow jackets, and they're gonna come out uh, first, and then the mosquitoes are gonna come out in the late spring, early summer. Then you're gonna notice the carpenter ants are coming out in the beginning of summer. And by fall, you're gonna notice stink bugs. They're gonna be all over the place. The good news is they're not that harmless. Actually, they're not harmless at all. They're just an annoyance. The good news about all these insects, they're not poisonous. As a matter of fact, we don't really have any poisonous bugs, or plants, or anything like that lurking around. Our second con, limited job opportunities. Being in a small town and sort of off the beaten path means that there's a lack of job opportunities. And in this case, right here in Sandpoint, we follow suit. Like many resort towns, there are many jobs that are seasonal and they're not paying the highest wages. Now, because of the internet improvement and because of COVID, there's a lot more remote workers finding their way to Sandpoint. If you're a remote worker, then this may not be a big con for you. And let me put this in perspective. The largest employer in Bonner County is gonna be the school district. Some other notable companies up here include Cochava, which is a mobile data company, Kodiak Aircraft, and they design aircrafts that uh, need short takeoff and landing. We have Lighthouse, which is a salad dressing company. We have Timber Sled, which turns your dirt bikes into a snowmobile in the wintertime. That way you can enjoy your dirt bike year round. Number three on our con list is gonna be internet. And internet is just part of everyday life. And for others, it's gonna be more important for everyday use than others. And if this is something that's gonna be important to you, please let me know. Because there's certain parts of Idaho in the Sandpoint area that is gonna have a hard time getting a good, reliable internet source. I will say that fiber and because of Starlink, we are getting a lot better options up here and we're actually a top Zoom town and that's what bringing so many people here to work remotely to be able to afford living in Sandpoint. But let's stay, let's stay with the internet. If you need something that's gonna be secured, meaning not Starlink, not line of sight, then you're gonna probably be limited to in-town living. There are some communities, rural living, where you can be on acreage, where they do have fiber internet available. But again, let me know that because it's not that common out here. And one thing that, you are, that you're gonna notice, even with fiber, even being directly plugged in, the internet is not going to be as reliable and as fast as what you're used to. I will say, as a disclaimer, that our internet is, every year, improving as far as the reliability and those speeds. Our next con is limited health services. Once again, we're kind of remote and off the beaten path, and healthcare up here, it's kind of limited, and it's just kind of okay. In fact, the closest level one hospital is six hours away in Seattle. There are a few really good family doctors up here, but when it comes to a hospital and specialty doctors, I strongly recommend going down to Coeur d'Alene, Spokane, or even to Seattle. If you have health concerns, please, please, please do your research about your condition and make sure you have the facility and the care that you need up here in North Idaho. I do wanna give out a shout out to 7BIV, the Trinity Wellness Center. This is ran and owned by Melinda Adams. 
This is a great holistic facility that you should consider to help maintain a healthy body. Let's wrap up our cons and we're going to be talking about cell phones and what you're going to discover about your cell phone in North Idaho. Well, yeah, it works. It's just not as reliable as you're used to. You're going to get used to certain areas and roads where your cell phone, it just stops working or you're going to be home where you typically have good service. Then all of a sudden, the call, it just drops. And for this one, it doesn't really matter to seem where you're at, but the majority of time when you answer your cell phone, the person who is calling you can hear you, but it takes five to six seconds for you to hear the caller. Now you might be wondering or asking, well, what carrier are you using? Maybe it's that company. But when I talk to people around town, whether it's on Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, it just does not matter. It is ac across all the carriers. But I do strongly recommend that you look into Verizon if you don't have them already. They do seem to be the best and most reliable carrier here in North Idaho. And there you have it, the pros and cons of living in Sandpoint. I would love to hear from you, so please go ahead and leave me a comment on your biggest pro or your biggest con, or maybe I left something out. I would love to hear from you.